talk about this on your lives, and, and this is your approach. You like veterans being vague when they're listing disabilities, back condition versus lower back condition, or this diagnostic code in your back, this part of it. I, I kind of like to get all the way down into the weeds, get the diagnostic code, get the nexus, and make sure the symptoms are done up front. Is the SCT code, the SCT codes, or the, uh, I don't know exactly what codes those are, but they're on your uh, problem list. That is not an yeah. ICD diagnostic code. So I'd much rather see an actual diagnostic code. There's so many things that there's so many pitfalls involved in this process that as many things you could control, I think um, you should try to control them. So yeah, just kind of, you know, what's your reason, reasoning for being vague, you know, using the, the back condition as an example? Well, I, I, I got to say, Craig, that's not one of the worst things you've ever said. You might have a point in there somewhere. Um, and I think one thing you and I agree upon is information is power. Knowledge is what's going to win you these benefits. And I totally agree with you on that. And there's ways to get it everywhere. If y'all aren't subscribing to Craig's boot camp, I definitely would take a look at that because he's going to give you tons of information on what's going on. As he said, what's your diagnostic code? How do you get a nexus? Um, my concern is I see so many veterans who don't apply because they are just confused by the process. They don't know what's going on. They don't know what it's called and, and they don't apply. And my thought is just get it in there. Okay. If you know what it is, as you said, if you know what your diagnostic code is, you know exactly what your doctor has said. This is, this is your problem. You have, you know, a cervical spine arthritis. Great. Write that down. But if you don't know, you know, you're just like, Hey, my, you know, I injured my back. I got a, I got a back injury. My lower back hurts, whatever. Put that down and just get your claim started. That's my big thing. The other thing is sometimes you can go a little too far. Like if you think, oh, my, you know, you got numbness in your hand, right? And you're like, oh, well, I think that is neuropathy. And you put that down. Well, it turns out it's actually from like, like Craig's saying here, it's a back problem. And it's, it's, you know, you got a pinched nerve in your cervical spine and it's actually radiculopathy that's causing that. I don't want you to put that down in the VA and say, hey, you don't, have, you don't have neuropathy. We're not giving you benefits. When really, you got the symptom. You got the problem. You just misnamed it. So I agree if you know exactly what your, diagno if, uh, you know, your problem is. Like you're saying, like you got a broken, fore, uh, broken arm in your, in, in your forearm. And you can go to the diagnostic code. Again, like if you're, if you're doing his camp, you know, we've got stuff on this on our website. Um, put that down. Just say, hey, here it is. Here's my, oh, I'm sorry. We were talking about backs. I, I, I got a uh, lumbar spine arthritis. Here's the problem. I can only forward flex this far. I can only do this. Put that down. That's great. The more details you can give, the better. And I think the more details on how it affects you, the better. Not so much the name of the disability. I would do that. But back to your point, yes, I am different from you in that I keep it vague because I want everybody to apply as soon as possible. They don't need to know the name. The VA is supposed to tell them the name. You and I probably differ on the whole VA duty to assist thing. Maybe we don't, um, but uh, that's what I'm It doesn't exist for. anyway. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get there. No, you're, uh, and, and you're right. Um, if we're going back to me in 1991, you have a CNP exam. I didn't know what that was. Didn't show up, got denied, went back and did another half-ass attempt eight, 10 years later, same kind of thing. If I would have put something down on paper and actually went to the exam, at least I would have had something to, you know, keep my claim alive or possibly appeal or, or something. I, I guess, yeah. uh, get the ball rolling. It is complicated. And yeah, a lot of us don't even know like, Oh, that sucks. So I can't get anything. Oh, thanks. VA. Well, that, and that's one of the VA's it's, it's like, they put up this wall in front of their castle. Like, you know, you come in, you see this wall and you're like, what the heck? How do I even get over that? What's my disability? What, 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 what the, what's a nexus, you know? And, and, and a lot of guys just give up. They say, oh, I, I'm not dealing with this. You know, I'm just going on with my life. And meanwhile, government owes them money for the service they did for us. And, it, you know, it's, it's just frustrating. I, 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 it frustrates me so much when I get a claim that started, you know, guy started the claim three months ago and I look, he served in Vietnam. He's had PTSD this whole time. He's just, just, you know, struggled through it. And I'm like, this guy should have been paid the whole darn time, but the VA makes it so hard. So, you know, again, information, knowledge is power. If hopefully folks are watching this, I've been watching all these videos and they're really gathering that up to put in their claim. That's great. But for the average vet out there, he just says, hey, I think something's related to service. Um, you know, that guy's just got to put in a claim. Yep. And that makes sense. That's I, I think we're on the same page there for sure.